Hey besties, welcome to Bestie Time. We've taken over Tin Talk. Yes, usually it's the guys. Who this are doing is the podcast. Sam. This is Joey. <laughs> you can't even tell the difference. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. So usually it's Sam and Joey, but now it's Savannah and Katie. Yes. So, um, Katie, would you give us a little bit? Of, tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, um, sure. how'd you get here? Uh, how'd you get to this couch? What led me to this specific moment in my life? Um, a lot. Um. Anyways, yeah. Hi. <laughs> uh, Go on. Okay. Go on. Cut that part out and start. <laughs> no. Go. Okay. <clears throat> I don't even know what to say. I'm... College. Okay. No? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Now I gotta... I have to think. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm Katie. I went... I did my undergrad at UC Santa Barbara. Go Gauchos. Um, and then I transferred to Portland State to finish out my um, eligibility there. Um, and then I spent a year and a half, almost two years, being solo pro, um, kind of back and forth between Oregon and Flagstaff. Um, and now I'm here. Now I'm one of the two tin, tin women. Yes. We recently, I don't know if you've seen on the internet, but Tin Man recently added two new women to are. a mainly men's team Here so uh, that's us yeah tell us about yourself Savannah. Um, Savannah Savannah. and I went to college at NC State I was there for five years had a baller time really it was fantastic um hella good time <laughs> we'll talk about that later um and yeah I moved around a bunch of the kids so I don't really know where I'm from she's from I'm from California. California yeah exciting and I'm freezing here. <laughs> yeah, it is cold. I mean, living going from Raleigh to here is definitely a... And we moved here in the beginning of December. Yes. Um. So I was also kind of in between things from like the late spring till December. I went to Flagstaff and trained with Katie for a little bit, which was super fun. And that's how we met each other. That's how we like really like got to know each other, hang out. And like eventually by the... I mean, more or less by the end of the time, we were both like pretty much thinking of joining together. So yeah, I um, came on my visit while you were in flat. In, yeah. yeah. So I left briefly, came here and then came back and was like, it was so great and fun and silly. Yeah. And what then we both were like, joining? let's do it. Like, let's move to Colorado. I've been wanting to move to Colorado, Colorado since I was like such a, like I was, since I was like in high school. So I was like, kind of like, I'm true. let's do it. Let's do it. I wanted to train here anyways. And it was just like, this is so perfect. Love the team, everything. And here we are now. One on month couch, in. taking over the podcast, telling you guys what's up. Yeah. Should we do a little one month update? Yeah. What have we done? We've, yes. uh, we moved in. Okay. Just... It's more like six to eight weeks update. Is it two months maybe? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's only January 13th. We moved in on December okay, like fine. third. Um, Five well, weeks. we, we moved in three of us, um, us and bestie okay. Anthony. And then not that long after the king of track joined he lives with us too we've got yeah. nice little house in longmont colorado best place awesome in the world literally <laughs> um, um and this is delta i don't know if she's in the i think she is she might be or at least her paws are um i was trying to get her to like come hang but no what have we done since then joined the team i ran a 5k um, yeah that was anthony like ran a 5k so did the team yeah i have not run for Tin Man yet, I guess, race or whatever. 3K we're about coming to, up. Yeah, 3K coming up for me, Camel City, and then you have a race coming up too. 10K cross country, Ooh. US cross. We're taking four out there. Yeah, that's pretty sick. So that's going to be super fun. We just had our team team retreat up in Netherlands. In Netherlands, which was, was lovely. So fun and silly. And I just feel like too, like the te- like we just like joined the team and it was just like immediately, immediate Bonded, harmony, you know? Good stuff. So it's like, it's funny. It's only been what, however many weeks, but I'm like, I feel like I've been here forever now. Yeah. It feels like this is, we've settled in very well and it's been an easy transition, which is nice. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So nice. And we're looking forward to a full like spring and summer going into like all the summer races. I feel like, even though like, I feel like before I came in, I was like, oh, I want to join somewhere in like the fall, but it's still a really good time to get in like bulk, like bulk training and yeah. like get into rhythm and all that stuff so very exciting yeah and we're excited about building the women's team absolutely (laughs) absolutely Absolutely. more girly pops so if you want to be a bestie if this podcast is speaking to you swipe up (laughs) (laughs) like comment subscribe (laughs) yeah i think that's that's pretty much it yeah we let's get into it let's get into it 
So we've had a lot of comments over the time of our little little sayings. Many of them are from TikTok. Let's be let's be honest here. Yeah, but some of them are you know unique and interesting. So we're gonna explain them to you today. Yeah. Um, Katie, do you want to take it off strong with the first one? Sure. Yeah. Um, you may hear us saying CWP. That stands for Chili Willy Penguin. Today it is Chili Willy Penguin outside. It is negative. 20 negative i don't think it's it cold. was this morning i think though um or yeah. negative 11 i don't remember but it was it said negative six extremely six CWP on the way to the workout we had to do a treadmill workout today it's cwp out here occasionally it's swp silly willy penguin that's when it's warmer so yes anyways <laughs> we arrived we got here in the like early december so it is always cwp basically yes. just a southern girl and a cali girl being a little mm-hmm. living putting on our hoods that go down to our feet yeah and then waddling everywhere okay okay um next one standing on business <laughs> standing on business we <laughs> do be standing on business um, say something you mean it and you do it yeah that's basically that's a good it. yeah right? yeah if you make a promise if you say you're gonna do it or like yeah i don't know yeah that was it i think that was a good Good. Jack's across the country to Colorado, standing on business. Yep. Joan, be standing on business. Fun and silly. Fun and silly. That's a good one. Um, Fun and silly is for everything. If you're doing your treadmill workout today, it was probably fun and silly. Being out in the snow, fun and silly. 30 mile per hour winds. Fun and silly. Very fun and silly. It's either, oh, that was so fun and silly, or like, this is fun and silly. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's hard to explain. <laughs> it's kind of like a all-purpose word. All-purpose term. You don't know what to say. If the coaches ask you, like, what did you do today? You're like, I just had a fun and silly time. It was fun and silly. Yep. Who knows what that means? Anyways. Um, next one is she's, she's just, just a girl. girl. Like sometimes <laughs> did Savannah back into a wall. Yeah, she's just a girl though. It's fine. Um and then sometimes we're talking about Delta, who's oh, she's just a baby. She's just a baby. She's, she's a baby. literally like only maybe one year old. She's older than that, but she's just a tiny baby. She's did she pee in Savannah's closet? Yeah, but she's just a baby. So <laughs> she's just a baby. Like babies just pee in closet. Like us. Yeah. So yeah, you're just a girl. You're just a baby. Um, did you forget your spikes at the workout? Yeah, I'm just a girl. Did you know, I drive thirty minutes away by accident? Yeah. Did you go to the wrong spot for the workout? You're just a girl. What do you expect? You know. <laughs> um, oh, this one's also the same. It's only my first time living. Yeah. Did Savannah go to the wrong spot? Yeah, but it's her first Can time. You go to the- <laughs> <laughs> no, it's God. my first time living too. Did I make pizza dough last night with no yeast? Yeah, but it's my first time living exactly. and it turned out all right. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's only my first time living. Um oh. <laughs> Simultaneous. Oh. Um Sassy Man Apocalypse. We're living in the Sassy we Man are, Apocalypse. Yeah. Especially with all these men on this team. Oh yeah, we live with two guys and one of them is a very sassy man. Sassy man for sure. We won't mention which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> he's a sassy man um yeah i think you can sometimes, just gather sometimes when it gets too much it's like apocalypse it's like, really it is rough and tough out here um it's it's fun and silly but sometimes it's like <laughs> you have to no, dial it down we're just kidding we're just sam kidding. we're looking at you <laughs> <laughs> just kidding again I'm not kidding just we're just girls. girls uh the next one's the same why would a man be there usually that's delta's thing anytime she comes into a room and sees a man and immediately runs away she's like why would a man be there which fair i'm not sure she's she's yeah she's just yeah. about you don't know how to take a call in my room and she came in and it was like the look she had on her face she's like why would a man be there why would that's a man be in room? Room? <laughs> yeah which you know it's fair um okay and don't oh yeah this one's yours Double T, but the T is for tuckered out because I'm literally always so tired. <laughs> I haven't yet done a double T, so Kay- this is really Katie's. Yeah, I mean, after double T, it's like double T, but the T is just for tired. The T is for tuckered out. I'm tuckered. Out. I've reached my max and um, bestie. Yeah, bestie is the one. next one. I mean, just pretty much epitomizes the last two months. Besties. It's just been bestie time. Bestie time. Besties doing bestie activities. Living together in a bestie house, bestie teammates, bestie nuggets game. I think you can just say like someone bestie, like span a bestie. Exactly. Like it's just, it's great. Yeah. And then sometimes, sometimes people hear bestie too many times and start making bets <laughs> about how many times you said bestie. It's a lot. It's going to be more than, it's going to be over. It's a lot. 
It's a lot of besties. Uh, okay. Next one is us in another universe. Savannah and I say that literally anytime we see anything in like a group of two or three, four. <laughs> like you see like two prairie dogs hugging us in like, another oh, universe. So oh I think God. that's always send two each other bunnies, on TikTok. Just, like, hopping around. Us little in a universe. It's just sometimes oh. we see packs of like dogs, groups of dogs, and it's us in another universe. Two old People ladies going on a walk. Us in another universe. Oh my gosh. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. So Hella. That one's mine. Savannah's really trying to make Hella happen again. Oh, <laughs> no, it's just a word that I've been using for a long time. And then everyone was shocked that I would have used such a word. But now I'm trying to make it happen. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, she's trying to make Hella happen. I want to like get into everyone's brain. So they're like, that was Hella sick. And I'll be like, I, I wish have to practice one day. fun and silly. <laughs> I don't want anyone to say We're Hella sick. into everyone's minds. That's our reaction. Yeah, yeah. We're downloading our lingo into your brains right now. That's it for that because we're saving those oh, for later. Okay. The next one, guys, this took us some time and I'm really proud of what we accomplished here. Yeah. We're talk we have our list for the team as pop icons, specifically female pop icons. So think like Rihanna. Um and we Perfect. gave um and neither one of us I don't think you didn't use Rihanna, did you? Um, I actually did use Rihanna, but I think I'm gonna take it off because this was when I was getting frantic over there because I wasn't oh, okay. done yet. So I don't know. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna make it. We're gonna right. make it. You have the same like um like list of, as me, right? Same like, order. Or yeah. I think I switched right around also, Whatever. but I'll just you can say yours okay. and I'll say mine. We'll just ready. Uh, yeah. Drew Hunter. Okay. Three, two, one. Britney Spears. <laughs> I, well, say yours. I feel like Taylor Swift, like, you know, like he's been around for a while, like doing so well, just like, especially on this team, like founding member, just like consistently slaying. So it's that's it's why I, I say Taylor Swift, this is going to be his year. Okay. That's what I feel in my soul. I'm like, this was Taylor Swift's year. So I love that's that. how I feel for Drew. Um, yeah, I said Britney Spears because I feel like Drew sort of has that like a little bit chaotic, <laughs> crazy energy, but also, you know. <laughs> Very long careers, got famous young, you know, Britney yes. Spears is a pop icon before she was even, you know, she was like she's baby. young as a pop icon. So I feel like Absolutely. that fits true. And she's, still, she's still around. She's yep. still slaying. She's just gotten a little bit more, a little bit more fun and silly, but <laughs> she's just true Drew has too. So Drew at, at our practice yesterday afternoon was being a little bit silly. So yeah, that's <laughs> mine. Um, Britney Spears for Drew. That's great. Okay. Sam. Are we going to say at the same time? Sure. Okay. Madonna. Yes, Madonna too. Really? <laughs> that feels so funny. I just wrote dramatic next to it. <laughs> Smiley face emoji. <laughs> See, I, I originally had Mariah Carey, but I was like, oh. I wanted to give, I feel like, because she's a little bit of a diva, and I was like, yeah. why don't you get that energy from Sam? Wow. <laughs> but um, but I think Madonna like, has that kind of diva energy too, but like more in like a badass way. Yes. Which was like, yeah. I think that that's more Sam, more I yeah. care is more of just like a diva. And I was like, that's yeah. not like very like accurate. I also, agree. Madonna is like a fashion icon. And I do feel like Sam's always up here in his outfit. Sam is so outfits. I was yeah. like, that's that makes sense. Yeah. Also long lasting, been around for ages. Yeah. Like same same vibes basically. Yes, I agree. That one was easy for me to do. That was very Sam. Well, yeah. <laughs> I should have known from the beginning. It took me forever to get to that conclusion. But yeah, I know it was the right one. Okay. All right. Joey. I don't Maybe. think you're going to have to say it, okay? Three, two, two one. Olivia. Dua Lipa. Rodrigo. Okay. Not the same. Okay, I saw Olivia because I, <laughs> you know, like, definitely, I don't know how to explain it. Like, kind of, like, came out of, out of nowhere a little bit with, like, his performances. And then also um, just, like, such a, like, sweet, kind person um, and, like, touch with their emotions. And, yeah, what'd you say? Um, I picked Dua Lipa and I really don't have a reasoning for this one. It honestly just felt right. Just the vibe. I went back and forth. Joey's was actually really hard for me to do. So, oh. um, yeah, Dua Lipa, but Dua Lipa makes good music. So this was a positive one for Joey. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We don't really have, as well we have thought out. Ones in here? No. no, but I feel like Madonna, I mean, Madonna <laughs> and Britney Spears could have been taken a little bit like. Yeah, I don't want anyone to take things like the wrong way. No, but Donna so and have, Britney like, Spears, good. they're still icons. We Absolutely. didn't put like they're all icons, guys. Yes. So Dooley, but she slays. All right, Reed. Reed. Three, two, one. Gwen Beyonce. Stefani. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you go first. <laughs> um, I don't know. Reed just feels like he has oh Gwen Stefani energy. Okay. Like yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I like, feel like he has a little like, bit of like sass, but it's also like I feel like when you think of Gwen Stefani, you're like, oh, what songs does she have? And then you're like 
Sweet Escape, Holla Back Girl, like, and then all of her just, No Doubt songs. Yeah, are like, yeah, just incredibly good. Yeah, so so unique, so interesting. Yeah, it's like someone who you like almost forget about, but it's like, why would you forget about that person? Yeah, that's how. That's what I did. You almost forget about Reed. Well, I mean, I don't. I would never forget about Reed. Every time I think of Reed, I think of that picture now. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, see, that picture of him taking off his shirt was why I said Beyonce. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that gave me like one step and, like, and a, like a little bit of unexpected, but like still has a sass yeah definitely like sass and like powerful yes. and like all of a sudden just like you're like oh my goodness yes, yes. so yes. i want to hear the beyonce explanation yeah that was mainly it i just okay. felt like reed has like this like secret energy mm-hmm. and he's also just like so fun and funny <laughs> and like i don't know why that like corde would beyonce with me but like just like truly an icon yeah you know what i mean not that, like everyone's an icon on this list everyone's an icon but i was just like I don't know. I just, I guess it's hard to explain it. Something you just like feel out, right? Yeah, I think that's, some of them, they're just on feeling. All right, Connor. Three, okay. Two, one. Alicia Taylor Keys. Swift. Oh, okay. That's very Connor Taylor feels Swift. like Miss Americana, Taylor Swift. Oh, okay, yeah. Like, that's just, I don't know. Connor just kind of serves that positive connotation. Yeah. yeah. But that's kind of like how I, I was, Connor, it was hard for me. Um, But I, I said like Alicia Keys, I feel like just like, always like hitting these like amazing like soulful sounds and like music i'm just like connor just like back at it again back i don't again. know just stuff like another one where i was like i can't really place the like reasoning but mm-hmm. it does feel right yeah connor felt like taylor swift to me because it was just it just felt like classic mm-hmm. like just like yeah i don't know i love that yeah that was just what it was giving all right brogan okay <laughs> three two one lady Shakira. Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> apparently you picked this one right away this one, yeah, this one did. It was another one that just jumped out to me. I don't know why. I honestly, when I wrote it down, I wrote, I deleted it because I was like, I don't know if I should say that, but now I've already started saying it. I felt like I could see Brogan wearing the meat dress and I will not explain further. Um, I feel like that's just what Brogan gives. I don't know. And again, it's positive connotation. I love Lady Gaga. She makes great music. And um, yeah, that's just, that's amazing. That's just what, what he serves, so okay okay um i said um i guess shakira because i just think about one time while he was making us dinner uh, or food the whole retreat he just like making food and he just like looks up and goes like this and i was like just those like funny moments yeah. that he'll have i'm just like i feel like that's the same shakira, with like shakira. lady gaga he gives like performer yeah like, yes, like, yes, yes. Po- like, he, yeah. he can he can get that out there and like ready to go yeah I, I don't know how to explain yeah. it yeah it's great energy for sure okay all right austin okay <laughs> I think we might have I to think say one. Like, okay. Three, two, one. Katy, Katy Perry. Perry. <laughs> that feels so right. Baby, you're a fun. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I have no explanation I for this don't one. I either. I just saw Katy Perry on the list of when I Googled pop icons, and I it was like Austin. Yeah, I, I, just I don't can't know how. Me, me too. It just felt right. And then when you said, I feel like we said something in the car that was like, I think I put someone or I don't know. I think we somehow knew we were both going to put this. It yeah. Just felt, this one was. I feel like we need to give him some explanation. Yeah. Um, we have no <laughs> I don't know why. It's just it is. It just is. It just is. You just are Katy Perry. All right. Um, okay. Moving on. <laughs> Antonio. Three. I know we don't two, have the same one. One. This. Dua Lipa. Shakira. Okay. Okay. Antonio has that like sass about sass. that Shakira has. Yeah, fair. I could see Antonio doing a performance to Hips Don't Lie unprovoked. Like I could see him just starting to do it and everyone being like, mm. yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, I feel like also the end of that Uno game where he was like refusing to keep playing after we <laughs> tried to add him back in with the plus four, <laughs> the sass he was serving just felt, it felt right. Sassy man. Yeah, All sassy man apocalypse again. But um, I don't know. Actually, I did cheat. Um, uh, Ashley, Antonio's wife, uh, helped me with this one. So I don't know what the full explanation is. What did but you I was say? Like, uh, Dua Lipa. Yeah, Dua Lipa. Oh. Um, that's how what she felt. Uh, I don't know. I I don't know. I couldn't. I I felt like that made sense too. But I also can't really give an explanation. So. Okay. Anyways, uh, Anyways. Anthony. <laughs> Anthony, okay. Well, three. we don't have the same one. You sure? I'm positive because you already used this one, I think. Okay. Three, two, one. Lily Eilish. Rodrigo. Yo, we did. Yeah, you, I already heard about this one. Yeah. That's great. 
Um, I can see it. I can see it. Anthony really gives Olivia Rodrigo. I can't really explain why. He just kind of does. It's like he he almost wants to be sad girl, but he can't be on like Billie Eilish where it's like sad in your core because he's just like too a little too nice and happy. So he gets Olivia Rodrigo, who's like yeah, middle ground. Yeah. Yeah. I gave him Billy just because he listens to Billy so much and he does have like a big Frank Ocean. Okay. Like, he loves Frank Ocean. So I feel like it's like that kind of energy you'll be putting on like the saddest music you've ever heard in your yeah, life I'm, yeah. on some <laughs> little silly little drive somewhere drive like, to practice and then he's like everybody cry right now <laughs> but i feel like it's kind of like fake I it's like, like it anthony wants to be too. sad i know because he always puts on the, i'm like okay we're vibing the music like, that good, was like, playing at the tonight. lowest point in my life anthony's like play i'm like why did you do this we're going to run you felt that way about like linger by the cranberries like i put on some like no it was music and you were like yeah ah. okay some songs just hit different like heat waves <laughs> I can't listen to that song. Oh. It was playing that's at the lowest fair. point in my life. Some Billie Eilish did trigger me. See, too. yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Okay, but anyways, he does love Billie, and I feel like that does, he does have that, like, little bit, like, more, like, in touch with the emotions. Yeah. Energy and, like. Written by a woman. Yes. Yeah. Energy, yes. Yeah, okay. for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, Phineas. Yeah. You know, he's actually Phineas, and, like, someone else is Billie Eilish, but he's, like, part of it, you know? <laughs> he's part of it. He just wants to be a part of it. Okay, Elliot. Okay. Three, two, one. Beyonce. Beyonce. Fierce. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Beyonce. Interesting. I gave him Beyonce because he is the king of track. And how could you not give the queen to the king of track? It just felt so fitting. This was one of my easiest ones, too. He just he just gives Beyonce. I thought it was like, hit me baby one more time. Oops, I did it again. It's like <laughs> this man just keeps, especially like with running, just like going and going and like doing another one, another oh record, God. another thing. All that stuff. And he also has a little bit of chaotic energy. Just a little tid. A little, a little bit. Tidbit. Just a little touch. Um, he's such a, like, fun guy, too. I feel like so. Um, I feel like that fits for me. Yeah. I, I could see that one. Okay. That one going there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next one is Max. Okay. Three, two, one. Miley Adele. Cyrus. Dang okay. it. <laughs> thought we were going to get that one together. <laughs> My original thought of Miley Cyrus was thinking like way back to Hannah Montana, like best of both worlds because we got Max. He runs, he does content, he does everything. Yes. He's living best of both worlds, bestie life. That's a, um, what a good like thought process. But also there. just that. turns out this is not a banger. It turns <laughs> out bangers. Can you, can you explain to the no. audience, please? <laughs> no, <laughs> I can't stop saying that. It's a TikTok sound. Um, but yeah, it just makes bangers and makes never misses. And that's Max. So, yeah. 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 That's how I felt with Adele. Just like yeah. bangers here, there, and everywhere. And keeps coming back. You know, keeps coming year. back. Where'd Max it. go? He's, he's back. <laughs> awesome i also i i don't really have very anything super specific with that for max i was just like vibes 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 adele sometimes that's you just good. can't no i don't know that one's good that one down okay mark mark hunter okay three two one paula abdul wow okay okay who, who are you talking about paula abdul i don't think i know that. anyone no hello <laughs> does anyone know who that is well, um, your turn first. Um, hold on, I'm gonna pull up a song or something. What the? No one says. Do you know those? Judge and they, yeah, Judge and Rumi. Oh, so sorry. So sorry. Well, I, I know she's it. gonna be watching this podcast, and I personally yeah, apologize. Yeah, well, when you watch this podcast, <laughs> Savannah so shut this in her. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I was honestly thinking of from like uh, American Idol days. I don't know why Mark just felt like this to me, but. Yeah, a little more like old school. Like, I feel like if you said to your parents you didn't know who Paul Abdul was, they'd be like, why do you not know who that is? Maybe maybe it's just a, maybe I'm too old. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Mark, that's all I'm good. I did Celine Dion. I just like, just like mm. icon, so many like legendary hits makes me think of Mark too. Like his stories are crazy and all the things he did when he was wearing like when people didn't wear running shoes basically yeah. you know what i mean and like <laughs> didn't wear and like i actually was listening to his podcast today and just hearing about like his like <laughs> so you funny. know like college and professional time where like they just had no structure no support going rogue like, people were just here there everywhere and he was still i almost gave mark share for this reason okay, i felt like yes. that could have fit but i don't know why i went just paula abdul fell a little better okay joan 
Well, now we don't have the same one because I gave Joan Celine Dion. Really? Yeah. Okay. So who'd you I have two, and I don't think we can say them at the same time because it'd be crazy, but it's Stevie Nicks, Dolly Parton. Okay. Wow. Which I feel like one. Stevie <laughs> Nicks, like, talking energy, like, the way she talks is very soothing mm-hmm. and, like, I don't know, very down to earth. And then, like, Dolly Parton in terms of, like, classic. Yeah. And, like, caring, loving, but also, like, on business. Like, standing on business. This, like, <laughs> Joan is just, like... I don't know. Yeah. Like, um, what a woman. Yeah, I gave her Celine Dion because in my mind, I was thinking, like, powerful, iconic. Yeah. Like, just slay. slay. Just such, yeah. Um, the powerful vocals translate into the powerful running of this team of sassy men plus us. So, yeah, it's the... And, yeah, I just feel like, does anyone not like Celine Dion? No. No. And no one, like, everyone likes Joan because she's the best. Exactly. So even people from other teams are like, oh, I love Joan. I'm like, yeah. Right? right? Amazing. Yeah, so. Incredible. So, yeah. Okay. Great stuff so far. And now we get into the fun ones, which is you and me. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing you first. I didn't even do one for myself, but oh. I'll. I, I have two for you, so you can have one of them. Okay. So for Katie, I have Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion. Yes! <laughs> wow, that's so such a compliment. Oh my gosh. God. Well, I thought you were when you said in the car it's someone who's not. Um, I thought you were going to say Doja Cat. And I was oh, like, wow. we just talked about Doja Cat being kind of problematic. So I was like, oh, is she trying to tell me something? She's not wow, that's it. so nice that you said no. Especially Megan Thee, Thee Stallion. I was like, well, I feel like a girl boss now. Yeah, you are. That's thank you, Savannah. That was so nice. Wow. wow. I feel like I should have made one for myself. If I was gonna do myself, I probably would have said like I don't know. Someone who's kind of basic, like maybe Selena Gomez. No. But like in the era when it was like <laughs> like well, Selena yeah, Gomez and the scene, is- you know, like that era. No offense to Selena Gomez. She's great. Um yeah, watch this podcast too. And yeah, I get it. <laughs> Selena Gomez and who else? Cher. Who else is watching this fight at the hell out of <laughs> oh brother katie 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 uh, the reason i gave you megan or like Nicki minaj is because when anthony is sassy to you you're sassy right back yeah so i can definitely get a little sassy back yeah i do secret is that she's also like small bits of fat, sassy man do you have one for me i do have one for you okay, three two one Miley Cyrus. lana del rey <gasps> katie oh uh, katie that's such a compliment see look at us we just know each other so well. we're besties there you can try <laughs> My, my favorite artist is Lana Del Rey, and I never thought I would exude such energy. Wow. Yeah, you do in, like, a very positive way. Like, I think she just makes music that, like, it's it's for the girlies, and it speaks yes. to the girlies, and I think you're for the girlies, and you... Yeah, and, and, my and you, you speak for the girlies, and, yeah, that's um that's mine. Savannah's just a girl's girl, and oh, wow. that's that was that one. That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. And I know you like Alana, but that was that wasn't it. You know, it was, there was there was reasoning behind it. Thanks, thanks. I said Miley, like partly because I love her music, but also because I've had multiple people say that I look like her, and I feel like at this point, I just I just that's why it. I gave Max Miley Cyrus too. She just <laughs> looks so much like her. Okay, next next one. What's our next thing? Um, I think we're doing 2024. Stock up, stock down. Stock up, step stock down. But we're doing 2024 ins and outs. Ins and outs for 2024 body suits. We got some bodysuits that are really crazy and fun that were on my story. Mine is orange and yours is black. Yes. And that's our energies as well. So yeah, we and like the, they have the like uniforms out. also are the bodysuits. We have yes. bodysuit uniforms that will be worn. Maybe. Katie. Maybe, maybe Katie. not. If we run an 800. <laughs> Joan's putting an 800 on the schedule just so we could wear um, our bodysuits. Just so we could wear bodysuits. Yeah. I think the 10K is a little long to be uh, wearing them. Wearing a one piece with one sleeve. I think that would, I don't know if that would serve. One as sleeve that is meant for people who have like muscles yeah, in their like, arms, like built. Ugh. Me and Savannah, we were, <laughs> the, 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 like the sleeve was like falling off our arm. It was like, oh, <laughs> this was not made for us. Not made for me. Not the target audience. It's okay, it's okay. Ins, besties. Um, yeah. Besties. Besties are so in for 2024. Not even in, give an explanation. Um, you should definitely, yeah. Give besties. the next one as an in and out. Since you wrote both of them. The besties one? No, next one. Going to good. races as a whole team? Yeah. It was in. That's so in. That's so in. We're, well, 
Team we have travel. a lot of people going to U.S. Cross. Yeah. And then we have a lot of people going to Valentine. And we're trying to get the, the team, team together, together which to is Valentine. so fun. Yes. Except for me. Joan, please. <laughs> please, Joan. Let me go. Um, um, but what's out is not being friends with your teammates. If you're not besties with your teammates. I know some people are challenging, but like. No. Not on this team. No one on this team is challenging. No. No, it's just all besties no all besties for realsies plus this women's team of two we are for real besties <laughs> well don't forget about delta oh yeah Gosh. three three she's around and then um, just in right on schedule Anne is small black cats yes absolutely so oh. in cats they are talk in. a lot yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how she <laughs> that's literally how she talks <laughs> she sounds just like that she goes like yeah, she Light your face at six in the morning. Yeah, seven six to seven thirty AM is scheduled meowing. It usually happens outside of one of our doors until you open the door. If the door is already open, it's in your face. As close as she can get to your face and then she just goes Meh <laughs> and it's like why? What? what is that? Um yeah, so small black cats. She's actually tortoise shell. <laughs> Which is, um, yes, she's not just black. She has a lot of colors. Okay, you gotta get the next one. It's an in and in out. Um, in and out, in, sea level, out, sea level. Um, no explanation. No explanation needed. Yep. Yeah. In, hole in the wall, Mexican food. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Yeah. Especially in Longmont, which is also an in. Yeah, Longmont, Longmont is, is so in. What's Longmont out? Longmont is very in. What's out? What's out? Boulder. Boulder. Sorry. Boulder, so out. Um, this team is not based in Boulder. Whenever they said that, they lied. We are based in Longmont, Colorado. The best place ever. It's amazing. This is like, if you think, when I think of Longmont, Colorado, it's like literally like consumerism <laughs> and the like entire, capitalism. The entire city. Uh, city. And it's like just <laughs> one big strip mall of like every fast food or like a chain thing that you could yeah. want in your life. But it's also paradise. Yeah. You can, <laughs> within five minutes from the house, you can get to like any they had a Dickie's barbecue I saw the other day, and I was like, they only have those in the South, but they have them one. They have one in Longmont. They have one of everything. Crazy, Longmont. truly. You, yeah, you want something Longmont. Okay. Um, out, running above 5,000 feet. Oh. Um, <laughs> specifically, if you're over like eight or nine, oh, God, it's no. cold, snowing, snow on the ground. Snow on the ground means me on the treadmill. That's what we've <laughs> learned. So, also, we didn't add this, but any kind of wind completely wind out. yeah wind oh. is out wind is out for 2024 mm -mm. another one Found time with that one yeah in is homemade pasta particularly katie's homemade pasta it was fantastic so we've been playing around with that blender we yeah. bought a blender so that we, we got a pasta. blender literally just to make pasta sauce which sounds insane because why did we not have a blender before that i don't know but um yeah i started being insane over making pasta sauce in a blender and then last night we used it for pizza sauce also so Blenders for your sauces. That's the way to go. Out. Uh, Teslas. Teslas. Teslas are so out. Sorry, Sam and Antonio. Specifically, Antonio, who's been in our garage for probably 24 hours straight trying to uh, wrap his Tesla. We don't even know. And he may or may not have also crashed oh, yeah. into our garage. I wish it the best of luck, but they're out. He's going through something. In our slippers because Anthony hates them, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, I He's like, why do girls all love slippers? And I was like, why do you not love slippers? I think we should just do in as being comfy and cozy because oh, I'm more yes. into like the fuzzy sock, grippy sock kind of girl. <laughs> but that's the same. It's the same idea. Like when you're in the house, you just want to be comfy and cozy. I do not have anything on my toes, so I will not be Please showing my feet. not bring them up <laughs> for your own. Yeah, I was going to say, as soon as we get to like I have gross feet, no, but I no, don't. No. Out is our plus podcast. So sorry, but it's just a lot. I I Watch hope. this one be over now. Oh God, oh, we're, we're trying oh, to no, keep it short. Oh, okay, not. Um, well, let's keep going then. Sam, we're talking to you. <laughs> Just kidding again. <laughs> okay. okay, is it time for the Q and A? Yeah. Oh my gosh, so we fun. have to do all of our um, fun little. Well, I like this first question. I'm not sure. Go for it. the same thing, but it say. says, "Are you actually besties?" From George Runs. Um. Yes. Yes. Short answer. Yes. Long answer. Yes. I mean, have you watched this whole podcast <laughs> and been like, they actually secretly hate each other? I don't know. It's up to you to decide. Everyone yeah. can have opinions. There's a correct one, but whatever. Yeah. You can do other Nikki's other one if you want. Oh, have you ever said good luck, everyone, on the start line? This is a funny <laughs> question because we've actually talked about it before. I feel like it's way more common for, like, 
I think it happens a lot. I don't know, but I, like, I don't know. I just started. To, like, girls are just like, good luck, everyone. Yeah, I feel like. Good luck today. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm running with my besties. Good luck, everyone. Have so much fun. Have yeah. such a good race. And then when you ask guys that, they're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> we can't say good luck to each other. <laughs> so this is, this is war. We're running a. 1500 what do you mean we're gonna say good luck i don't have a competitive bone in my body somehow yeah i when i say i have the dog in me it's like a little dog that's just like yip, yip, yip. it's like a <laughs> little tree it's like think of like joey's dog so like i don't know like goes on a stop yeah the dog like, that i have in me is like i just want to like pet me hey hi i say that like golden retriever yeah, or like yeah, i also have the wiener dog, dog or like and then guys are like why would i say good luck so but yeah it is also a little bit it's like a little bit weird and funny but that we do passive. it. It feels a little passive aggressive. Yeah, no, it definitely doesn't. When it's like someone it's like, who you know is about to dog you. They're like, oh, good luck. And I'm like, okay, okay, guys. See you at the end. <laughs> okay. Oh, funny. Oh, um, where does Anthony's nickname come from? That's a good one because we, we need to go through nicknames that. as a thing. Anthony's nickname is Tony P. And it started because apparently everyone can't differentiate Antonio and Anthony. Which is, it is true. It is a little bit hard. So he's Tony Pepperoni. Tony Pepperoni is he the wants a restaurant. version. I don't think he really liked that, so we edited it. So <laughs> edited Italian Tony restaurant. <laughs> so yeah, that's Tony P. But we also have Sam has a nickname. Go on. Samantha. Samantha. Samantha Parsons. Parsons. <laughs> you have to say full name though. Um, um Savannah, Savannah Banana. Yeah, or what was the one that you gave me that one day that was like so funny? I don't remember. Savanny. Savanny. Yeah, he was Savanny Banani, actually. No, um Katie has a bodge. I like calling Katie Catherine. That's a good one. Sam has Katie California. And there's Katie Hangry. Yeah, someone put Katie Camcorder on the <laughs> when I was doing the diary cam. Um, and then Elliot's just like King. Yeah, he told the coffee shop his name was King. So <laughs> that's his. Um, Accurate. I don't know if we have any other thing. Um, I like, okay. well, I won't say that one. <laughs> I feel like we have some funny ones for Mark. Marky Mark, <laughs> Marky Mark, Marcus, but like never actually. I don't think we ever use those. Like the no, real, no, it's no. just like in my head. I want to be like, go to Marcus, go to Marcus. <laughs> okay, never mind. No one even's gonna get that. Okay, uh, that's okay. funny. Um, race day prep nails, hair, makeup. Um, oh, that one's from Lauren. Which oh, I Lauren. just think, just in general, is like the nails. I had like chrome nails with red on the bottom they were like louboutin nails and that was the best time of my life so i might have to get those again um, i don't know just some fun nails what are we doing to look fierce um yeah i like getting my nails redone before race i feel like i always have purple mm, it is kind of your vibe i'm pink she's purple it's That's just like how it is, it is. <laughs> Thanks. Just, i do love some like really fun eyeshadow mm um that's always a good one i shout out a little bit of glitter glitter yeah i feel like i don't really wear makeup braids race day yeah braids i've been, I've been braids. rocking the pony hashtag fast braid friday is this hashtag sponsoring podcast <laughs> going <Come> on <laughs> no, um, I love, that. love it love it best coffee in boulder Ooh. i mean i love ozo that's probably my like all-time favorite since i've been coming to boulder but i just i don't know i feel like i, I can't know. I can't even make a pick. I don't think I've really had any. I mean, I guess I'll say this one. January coffee? January really coffee. Good. I got a horchata, oat milk. I got a coffee. chai latte. It's very, very tasty. It has to be little because I won't finish it. I never finish my drinks. Okay. Um, Do you want to go through Miranda's or no? <sighs> <laughs> sure. Um, I feel like we should. Uh, you can just pick one. What it. This feels like a real question. What are each of your scariest, craziest goals for this year? I mean, we have to have one real question, I feel like. Yeah, this one We've been like silly real... this whole podcast. Yeah. <laughs> um, craziest goals. Do you want to start with your craziest, silliest goal? Not silliest. Um, scariest. Craziest, scariest. Um, making the Olympic trials and making the final in the 5K and doing well. Like, placing well. Um, I guess other than that, like running some really really fast fun times making some good races i I feel like my my vibe this year is just like work hard and see what happens and like have work less hard goals. have fun listen to savannah shaw's tin talk pod <laughs> no it's it's the yeah, the tin talk talk um what's it tin talk write up thing yeah i don't know yeah but that it was, was so you listen to her what 
Blog. Blog. It's a blog. Wow. <laughs> way back. Blog? And good luck, Charlie. <laughs> Wait, that's not even. I was thinking dog with a blog, and I don't know why I said good luck, Charlie. Okay. Um, camcorder. Katie Camcorder. Katie Camcorder's back. <laughs> Give me the diary cam. Okay. Um, my on. scariest, craziest goals for this year. First one is coming up next week. Making. You gotta say it. Making the world team for um, cross country, US cross um that one's scary because it's a 10k and only six people make it but i think that one's that one's hopefully realistic and then my other one is i'm um, doing so well lately so i think i'm so. the 10k I girly so. now um my other one is running um under 15 minutes in the 5k um yeah 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 what has been the hardest part about going from college running to pro? Let's see that one. Yeah. Um, hardest part. I feel like definitely facilities for me in terms of like in college, you have like weight room, treadmills, like everything like set up for you in many ways. And like someone's going to take you to the airport and someone's going to like for your races and someone's going to like hand you some money for your <clears throat> for your like dinner at the for race you. and like yeah. so many things and like. I you just don't like you do so much yourself like I book all my travel and everything like that and like it's nice I can like really strategize when I want to go and you're not on anyone else's schedule but also like it takes you know you got to like sit down and do all that stuff it's like it is a job for yeah sure. um, and then also like yeah figuring out like where do we want to go for this and like I don't really know a, besides maybe like Under Armour a protein that has a track um, and thankfully like we have like um, the Niwa track here high school track which is so Shout awesome but it still is like you know <laughs> It's not your track. The high schoolers are going to be there too. Yeah. Um, so what about you? Um, I'd say the hardest part for me, I had like almost two full, full years of being like solo. And I would say just not having like people around was really hard. That was the hardest part. Like finding the reason to keep showing up when it's like not about a team anymore. Not about like having people around. Um, that part was really hard for me. I think like continuing to do it when it's really, really hard or like having any injuries or anything like that. Yeah. Um, or having like a bad race. Yeah, it's tough to like motivate yourself to keep going when you don't have that like why. And I feel like this is like another question someone asked, but it was like, like structure, like you have so much structure in college that it's yeah. like, you don't even have to as much wonder like, should I keep going or not? Yeah, as, as often, but like I remember my like, my last race in college was like so bad. And I was like, I mean, no one's, there's no like, concrete reason for you to keep yeah. continue you know what i mean like yeah. i have to choose if i want to do this or not and it's like that's it's a little bit scary yeah but that's like this question why did you choose this team oh that's nice that's a nice one to grow that. that's like a great second part last one yeah last that's question. a good last question Perfect. um right, katie go first well i chose this team because we're all best <laughs> um <laughs> no i just i feel like when i came on my visit i just really liked the whole team vibe I feel like that's one of the things that I was really missing in those like two years obviously I had a a nice setup when I did have people to train with but I wanted that like day-to-day -day, like just someone there even for like an easy run just like people around and like a bigger purpose of like why you're doing it and I really liked like the whole Tinman model I feel like it's it's not just about like the people on the team, but also like bettering the sport. And I feel like that was something that was really important to me. And yeah, I feel like on my visit, like every every question I had or like caution I had was like talked through and answered well. And yeah, yeah, I definitely love like the the team energy for sure. Like, yeah, and like I having like a strong team culture in college, I was like I. I know that helped me so much and like I don't want to go back to go back <laughs> go back um I I don't want to be around uh, I don't want to I don't want to like keep doing this running thing if I'm not like around people that I'm really excited to be around yeah. and like so excited to support them and then to support me and we can all get better together and you're not just like on your own but yeah I don't really it's so hard being on your own like I, I didn't have it as long as you had but like you're just like, I'm just here showing up for myself every day. And that's, you know, yeah. you have to have that to some extent anyways. But like having people to come and like they were just so awesome. And, you know, yeah. we, we run with the guys here and there, too. Like, it's not just like no, obviously me and Katie, we have a good time together. But it's yeah. like the guys would run with us. Yeah. Like we'll all just like run together. And it's very much like a team effort, even though it is like men and women on the team now. Yeah. Not just like 
racing the same like the literal same races mm -hmm. um and i just love that i loved mark and joan i just yeah felt like that too mom dad energy and like mom. Uh, you know the caring uh vibes and like just like caring about everyone as like their own person too yeah. like not just like oh did they run a fast time like I don't know, like we're like just like growing together in many ways. Yeah. I just I feel like one that. of the like hesitations I had was the idea that it's like a men's team, but I feel like this has been such a like I don't feel like that at all. Yeah, like, no, like we're no. very very welcome as the Oh the for women sure. Ten Men Elite <laughs> and ah, Ten Women. Yeah, I feel like they've like all the guys have been like very supportive of us and our goals and like making it work for us too and Oh, so supportive, so welcoming. And like, yeah, it was also so telling, like during our team meeting, uh, team retreat, they were like, is there any way we can support the women's team more? And like multiple guys were like, please, like how can we support like a growing women's team more? How can we support yeah. you? And I'm just like, just that sentiment like is huge. Yeah. Um. So I really right. appreciate that. And yeah, I feel like it's been super nice too. Like aside from the two treadmill workouts we've done, which we've also done literally together. next to each other, I don't With think Anthony. I've done a workout alone. Like yeah. there's always been someone, whether it was like Elliot on his first day did his workout with me or Reed <laughs> and Connor, like we've yet to do something alone. Even they literally came like, back for you too. That was so I know. sweet. So sweet. Shout out the marathoners. We Thanks, love the guys. marathoners. Please send us any topics you'd like us to cover or just questions you might have. Yeah. Your reactions to our pop icons or in and out. I don't know. Anything. We'd love your thoughts. We're just girls. We're just you know? girls. Like, comment, subscribe. Do we do that at the end? Yeah. What is it? Oh, PC. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? LCS. <laughs> 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 <laughs>